Hello everyone, hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. Big up the Coins Key crew. Thank you for you tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your subscription on YouTube. Okay, if you're not already a subscriber, please do smash the subscription button and the like button on the video. Thank you. So in the Discord, I'm always making little trade setups. You know, post ideas, long short, whatever. We're just trying to ride the waves here. So there was a lovely little in and out trade uh, the other day uh, for Phantom, basically. So it was long anyway on Phantom. And what happened was when we came into this red line of resistance, I did anticipate a short up, but in the process what we did we ran into this high here made the lower high found support on this previous neckline of resistance and i realized this is a bull flag with a technical target of 05949 so my initial trade for this particular chart was the fact that we we're going to go short on this red line it ran into the red line then it came back like this and it absolutely bolted so i did make an emergency update because this is what you do as a trader if you spot anything if you're long short whatever you've always got to keep an eye on it okay and keep an eye on the potential patterns that invalidate it so you know phantom update i was short on the red line and we've seen rejection but this potential bull flag for phantom has me concerned for the short target to play out i'm taking profit already i'm a scaredy cat i was really glad i did take profit because this thing came down bounced and absolutely bolted look at that so it's done incredibly well and it's absolutely gone on from there so i do have some setups and targets that i'm looking at for phantom macro move right there for phantom so please definitely check out the discord for that content okay let's dive into the bitcoin video right now so taking a quick look at the S&P 500 before I do dive into the Bitcoin chart. Now there is a pattern that we're tracking for Bitcoin on the eight hourly time frame. Equally, there's something really important we need to see on the weekly. So I'm going to go through that with you because I think we may be carving out some kind of structural bottom as well on the weekly. So it's something we need to see over the next few weeks because I think we've got a chance here that that was the bottom on that week low in August because we've seen a couple of nice candles since that low as well, which I relay to you in the video right there. But you know, I think there is a chance that that is a bottom and we're seeing some perfect little you know W bottoms, inverse seven shoulders, are selling triangles across the border on many of these charts which is what i'm tracking for you okay so at the minute if you want to see all them charts if you want to see all the you know the altcoin setups definitely get involved in the discord it's so much easier for me to post the content in there and the setups that i see okay than making multiple videos so right now in the SP 500 i've shown you for many many years right now why i do pay attention to this chart so there's you know many analysts out there and let's hear Rastani, who i absolutely respect and obviously blockchain backer as well uh, you know that thought that this was in a bear market but like i said to you way back here backtest this is really really bullish this is where i did flip bullish on risk and the confluence of this particular backtest as well was the fact that the dxy was breaking down so i'll show you the dxy in a moment but you know we've got this beautiful move here and i think we've had a one into a flat two three four and right now we're in the last leg for this particular chart the basically the bell of top so my primary target on this particular chart is why i do remain bullish on risk regardless of the pullback you know the drawdowns or whatever and everyone flipping bearish really simple 1.618 5871 i think this is on its way there and you know whatever it does and whatever risk is doing at that time you know bitcoin um xrp ethereum chain whatever i will look at the structure and what it's doing you know because i think if we get there and we get a heavy rejection on the 1618 we've got the technical target that we're in for the s p 500 as well the inverse and shoulders which i've relayed to you and the 1618 now the confirmation of that at the minute is the fact that we are adhering to the fibs look we've got the resistance there called up broke out back test we ran into the 1.272 like a boss came back made a high low we're into the 1414 consolidating and looking to go again so it's conforming to the fibs basically so this is the primary target for me i've had that since way back here for those people who have been paying attention this is why i was bullish uh, we've got a breakdown in the dsy come up parabolically breaking down i said to you this flush down in the dsy is why this is coming up and we will see all time highs to bitcoin against a herd mentality against the naysayers the likes of blockchain back art and alessio rasani that flip really bearish okay so let me dive into the dsy right now but you know this is why i do pay attention to risk abc there blow off top abc here potential blow off top which is what we're looking at okay the clues are in the price structure and the charts themselves not because because he said she said or whatever okay let me show you the dsy right now so take a look at the dsy on the weekly time frame at the moment i'm anticipating a drop here for the dsy and it's part of my analysis to the risk blow off top and i've been looking at this for a very long time the big macro abc that the dsy is in and, and this is something i relay to you at this point when we broke down for the dsy i know initially we did break down with bitcoin if we drop that in for you right now you can clearly see look at that drop and we dropped here for bitcoin but i think what would happen with bitcoin you know we created an anomaly basically a black swan in the charts right there and what we did for bitcoin is basically the ftx fallout you know which is i couldn't see that but we got the drop in the dsy and as this continued to come down we've seen a beautiful move up for bitcoin so my anticipation is is what we've got really simply we've got this horrible drawdown for the dsy where bitcoin went going in the other direction we've got the double bottom way back there in 2021 then we bolted in the dsy and at that point bitcoin began a macro abc correction okay a correction 
within a bigger cycle, which has always been my anticipation. So in the process of the DXY coming back up, Bitcoin actually made a bull trap high, a B wave high, but the DXY was a clue because it was taken off into space. So that was a you know basically a bull trap. So at this point, we was looking at five waves in C, we've got it, and then you know qualification in the C wave, and right now we've got the one, two, three, and we ran into a four. So what I'm looking at, if I'm correct, we may have a clue that the you know the DSYs come up like this, a parabolic growth curve, and from this point here, it's been in an A, a B, and a C. Now this C wave, if we see it coming down and losing that pivot low from January, uh, July last year, sorry, on the DSY, this is the end phase. This is you know your last leg in Bitcoin, the final fifth wave, and the last wave of an ABC correction for the DSY. Really simple. So what we can do, we go from the top to the bottom. And what we've done, we've come up into the 1618 for the DSY, tagged it, and been in the correction ever since. So we're looking at these levels to de risk basically for the DSY. If we start to see the DSY coming down to the golden ratio at 9826, the 07 at 9625, and most importantly, the 786 at 74189. I will seriously begin to think about my position in crypto. In fact, bouncing on the 786 could be the exit Bitcoin moment for us, okay? So I'll keep an eye on that for you. But what I'm looking at right now, the A, the B, the C, this last leg, which I've been looking at with you for so long, as confluence of my analysis of the risk blow off top and the final wave here for Bitcoin is basically playing out under our noses. But we have to see that pivot low loss. But over the next few weeks, what I'm anticipating, because of the flu in the DSY right now, and the other extension from the 20 week EMA, which is this yellow line, I think we may see some kind of retracement here into the 20, okay, and then the next drop, which is pretty much like what we've seen there, the last drop into that blow off top of this particular impulsive move that we're experiencing in 2021. So if we see this structure carve out in the DSY, you know, I think that's it, some kind of one into a two, into a three, into a four, into a five, the last wave down, I, I'm seriously thinking about, you know, getting out of crypto at that point, de-risking because we'll have clues in the charts. The opposite of getting involved there at the top will be the opposite there of, of getting out, basically, really, really simple. So I wish you all luck, but so far, so good. We're riding these waves like an absolute boss. Keep an eye on the DXY. Let's dive into the Bitcoin chart right now and see what we can see, okay? So take a look at Bitcoin on a weekly time frame. There is a chance that we've bottomed, but I want to see the structure here from this lower, okay? So we'll keep an eye on that over the next few weeks. For those people who have been paying attention, we are tracking a reversal pattern on the eight hourly time frame. It's called a diamond bottom. It actually has broken that resistance right now. So that's technically a nice little confirmation statement. But on the weekly, what we want to see most importantly is this retained higher high, high low structure. So I think that we may have a clue with the DSY being a little bit overextended from its 20 week EMA. We're running to the resistance right now we've got the higher low run into this resistance again we make the higher low so you know anticipate over the next couple of weeks here we may get rejected here at this neckline then create the high low structure whilst the dsy retraces into its 20 week ema at that point the dsy breaks down for the remainder of the year into next year at that point we're gone for Bitcoin here, risk on is back on the table. Uh, you know, that's the scenario I'm looking at. I'm looking at until I'm not. I think one of the most bearish things we can see here for Bitcoin is losing this green neckline. So I think within the short term, if we do, you know, have another correction, we break down below that, then yeah, I'll entertain just exiting and I'm completely wrong, uh, you know, in the scenario that I'm looking at right now. But I think we've got the perfect setup, the perfect play that from this point here, this is your bottom resistance high low, resistance high low, and we're creating a sending triangle here for Bitcoin over the next few weeks. And this is a scenario that I've been looking at with yourselves. You know, we do typically see structural bottoms on these corrections, basically. So let me go through this with you. So just there, we've got the basically the end of the correction. We create an ascending triangle resistance breakout here. We've got an ascending triangle resistance breakout here. We've got an ascending triangle resistance breakout. So we're looking at very structural similar bottoms as to what we always get at the end of these corrections. So it is my anticipation right now. We've got a one into a flat two, a three into a basically a double three zigzag WXY WXY zigzag. And within this, we've got a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So basically a WXY. Right now, we're going to one, ABC, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So if we do see five waves in this next move, parabolic move for Bitcoin, at that point, you know, with the breakdown of DSY, I will begin to tell you this is your de-risk moment. This is a get out of Bitcoin card. So equally, for those people who have not been with the channel for a very long time, I do have a video in the description right there labeled alt season, what we need to see. And I think that this is, you know, if we see this on Bitcoin, this one and two, and we start to break three, four, five, so on and so forth, we come up with stairs and we're really going well here for Bitcoin. This is where alt season will come from because, you know, at the end of the cycle, Bitcoin will break down like that. That's its A wave. In its B wave retracement, people think it's going to continue. It makes the lower high 
why but here this is where you see your alt season and it's marrying up with the way threes fours and fives that i'm seeing in a lot of these coins for example uh, like i said to you we've got v chain i think that from this bottom here not necessarily this bottom v chain's come up in a one it's now in a two okay and then right now it's looking to load the three four five so the third wave is the most explosive which is this point here the final fifth wave but as we start to come down here in the final wave for bitcoin in the a this is where we have a drawdown which is your four in alt so i hope you're staying with me and then the final fifth wave which is always a lower high in every single cycle for bitcoin that's your alt season that's your final fifth wave uh, you know in altcoins really really simple if i move to the left i can show you right now this is exactly what happened in the, the end of this cycle which is what i think this is i think that this is just a bigger cycle this is the same as a previous cycle but it's it's bigger it's more drawn out and we're actually missing an alt season this is why the likes of blockchain backer was looking at an alt season down here somewhere and he was completely wrong because it's coming and this is a theory that i've had that from here one into the two into the three into the four into the final fifth wave the a b c here the a the b and the c wave drop which is a bear market this b wave here is this basically this is your old season so if i drop the total in uh you can see right now total two which is you know also excluding bitcoin this is where on this retracement here look the b wave the a the b at the end of the cycle you have your alt season this is why we've never seen it here okay we've never seen it at the top there because this is your true cycle top and this is something i've been trying to relay uh, for many many years right now that this move if we see it this is your end phase not the beginning this is the end phase one two three four five a b alt season and this is where i'll be absolutely loading up on so many alts and i'll be targeting them i'll be relaying them opportunities for you okay and a lot of people say no way no way but yeah this is your end cycle this is the same as every other cycle where the b wave is your alt season this is something i'm trying to relay to you so again i hope you understand today. i hope i'm not confusing you but this is something i've been looking at for a very very long time uh, with yourselves and so far so good so at the minute rejection off there and ascending triangle which is what we always see at every bottom if we get that with the breakdown and why you know we could be in for a good time leading into next year but again i'm looking for that alt season signal which comes on the b wave retracement of the a the b the c the b wave is your alt season let's remember that okay some fantastic opportunities going forward as potentially you know for chain link xrp v chain so on and so forth and again this just has confluence that anyone that's been following my xrp videos for a very long time this just has confluence to the fact that why we've never seen that big impulsive move for xrp because it is in the bigger cycle as is bitcoin this was not your blow off top of the particular cycle for bitcoin this is do you understand i understand the update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned nothing i say is financial advice but so far so good we are nearing the end of this cycle in my opinion take care everyone back to another update on bitcoin bye bye